No two families are exactly alike, but at the heart of the word family is just that, heart and love. Definitely it was like a no-brainer of, yes, we absolutely want to open up our home and really show love to somebody that is desperate for it. When Natalie Shin and her husband became foster parents, love was at the center of their decision. These kids, when they are in a safe environment where they feel loved and respected and that they matter, that shows. They started out by providing relief or respite care. Then came the chance to foster full time for a teen who they'd welcomed in before, Tyler. He just is a lovable kid. It was great to, you know, be matched with someone that we did connect so well with, both we with him and he with us. He came into their home at 17 years old, just days away from adulthood. He just really was not ready to be out on his own yet. To think of trying to live on your own and have a job and finish out high school, it's a lot. Boys and Girls Aid brought them together. And we are Oregon's oldest child welfare agency. And we actually do today what we did 135 years ago, which is to ensure that children who do not have a family to call their own, that we make sure that they have lifelong connections, relationships, people who are gonna help them, support them, guide them. President and CEO Susan Huntington says the pandemic has had a profound impact on an already overburdened child welfare system. There are more than 8,000 kids in Oregon's foster care system, and there are not enough foster families to give them a safe and loving place to land. In the Portland metro area alone, there are more than 500 beds short. And so we're struggling as an agency to also find adequate foster parents. And with distance learning comes unique challenges for kids who often move at a rate of three to four times a year. So our staff who are youth care counselors and social workers are really trying to figure out how best to help them learn, keep them engaged, keep them focused. Uh, and it's been hard. It's been really hard. Boys and Girls Aid wants to make sure kids find a safe, loving home and the right fit for each individual child's needs. They're so supportive and they're just really there to make the experience not only good for the child, but for um, the foster parents as well. Now at 19, Tyler is in the next phase of a DHS adult transition program. He's off on his own to the next chapter in life, but thanks to fostering, he'll never be alone. Probably one of the biggest rewards to be able to see not only him grow, but how much he has impacted and touched our lives throughout the process. The Shins say fostering comes with many challenges, of course, but the rewards far outweigh the setbacks. Right now, Tyler is in the process of changing his last name, and Natalie and her husband are expecting their first biological child soon. They plan to continue offering respite care and fostering again in the future.